opening right up. Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. Bogdanovich out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's O'Neal in at the three. And for the Suns, Aiton is at the center with Johnson next to him. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Bridges in at the small forward. Now here's Booker. Over in the corner, Paul. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. Man, if you're going to grab it, grab that thing. He just lazily reaches out for that, and the result is it's deflected right off of his hand. And with Mikael Bridges, he's a player who knows his role and plays his role as well. I think he's one of those guys who comes from a, a great system. He came into the league with incredible discipline and incredible awareness of where it is he can impact the game. And that's why you see the 3 and D effect that Mikael Bridges has had on the NBA. So the Utah Jazz able to put the first points up on the board. Takes a step back. Here's Paul. It's stolen by Gobert. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. Mitchell. A dynamic leaper with an impressive wingspan. Mitchell usually has some flashy dunks up his sleeve. Now here's Paul. Kicks it out to Booker. Pass to Ayton. Five on the clock. Stolen by Mitchell. Outside Conley. The pass to Gobert. Jazz passing it around. Back to Mitchell. The three. Good on the three-point shot. Evan Mitchell. Mitchell's got three seven. Field goal. And this is what makes Mitchell dangerous. His ability to rise up immediately after catching that pass. Booker outside. Back to Paul. To halt the run. Suns keep it alive. Here's Ayton. Kicks it out to Paul. Stolen by Michael Conley. Lined up there for Bogdanovich. Up high to stop the alley-oop. And how about the awareness of Mitchell? That, that's what stands out to me. He, he has a decision to make and does it with terrific timing. Johnson gets the bucket. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Ball against Conley. Kicks it to Gobert. Pass to Bogdanovich. Just four to shoot. Conley for three. That one doesn't go. The Suns go the other way with it. Paul dishes to Johnson. To the paint. It's stolen by Gobert. It's rebounded by Paul. Suns trail by six. Two minutes remaining in the first. Tears the lob to Bridges. Throws down the alley -oop slam. That's a good find for me. Understanding the defensive scheme. And he just waited for his teammate to be open. Feeds to Mitchell. A minute 42 left in the first quarter of the game. Bogdanovich passes to Mitchell. Lock at six. For Booker. The Jazz again can't hit it. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Conley with it. Now guarded by Booker. Outside Conley. Passes it to Gobert. Bogdanovich against Johnson. Outside Conley. Over Booker. Conley's shot is off. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. Booker dishes to Aiton. And the foul called on Boyan Bogdanovich. That's, That's his, his first, first foul. Personal foul. First team foul. There's 53 seconds left to play here in the first. The drive by Booker. Kicks it out to Paul. Six on the shot clock. Fires from deep, and there's Booker on the assist by Paul. How about three or four from the floor to start? That's always a good sign. Conley, the pass to Mitchell. Gobert with a screen for Mitchell. 
Can they get it? A rebound by Johnson. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. This is to Bridges. Back to Johnson. Bridges outside. Johnson outside. Back to Bridges. The Suns need to get a shot off. And stolen by Bogdanovich. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Utah out in front. They're up by one. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Come on and get loud for your Suns Panther. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for Utah. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. Also racked up a ton of points off of turnovers so far in tonight's game. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. And so in the game for the Jazz, Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. Bogdanovich out there with O'Neal. And it's Gobert in at the five spot. On the wing, Mitchell. Defended by Booker. Mitchell against Booker. Gobert the pass to Mitchell. Back to Gobert. And the rejection by Aiton. Oh, he has the size and can get up quickly. Aiton with the throwback. The Suns trailer. And here is Paul. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Johnson kicks to Paul. Shot clock at six. Johnson, the pass to Aiton. That's a two from Paul. Off the left rim and out. Yeah, and the height disadvantage there forced him into a really tough oh, yeah, shot. Tried the, the fadeaway, but just couldn't yes, pull yes. it off. Go into the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. For three, Booker, and a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got three assists in the game. Mitchell outside. In the corner, O'Neal with it. Mitchell against Booker. Outside Bogdanovich. Over Johnson. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. No good from Booker. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Jazz. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. And it's great to see Bogdanovich spreading the ball out. I mean, possesses good size, which allows him to see over defenders. Bridges outside. Back to ball. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. And now here comes Conley leading the break. And there's a whistle. Mikhail it goes on Mikael Bridges. That's his first. Person. That's his first foul. First and we foul. see teams around the league trying to integrate star veterans with talented rookies. Greg, it's not always easy, is it? Not at all, Kevin. And a lot of times it. Oh! Yeah. Bridges showing off his athleticism. He's able to get in there at full speed and still score. Jazz are gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. Ball against Conley. Two minutes to O'Neal. the first half. Two On minutes. the wing, Mitchell. That's in, and that's his fourth Robin basket of the Mitchell. night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. And man, does Mitchell get buckets. And from everywhere on the floor, a, a versatile offensive threat. And it's Paul penetrating. Booker with no one around. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Booker's got six points in the quarter. Bounce pass, Conley. Has to go bare. There's O'Neal with the three. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got his fifth rebound in this one. Bridges with it. He's picked up by O'Neal. 
Paul's shot is off. Jazz have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Mitchell wide open, drills the three-pointer. Mitchell. Mitchell's got 12 in the game. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. 52 seconds left to play in the first half. Paul kicks to Bridges. Back to Paul. In the corner, it's Bridges. Just five on the clock. With three, Booker. Rebound, Utah. On the wing, Mitchell. To the middle. And it's Mitchell with the jam. I love Bogdanovich's ability to put the team first. When he sees one of his guys open, he's a willing ball mover. Ball fires from way outside. And a miss there on the triple. Utah leading by four. Mitchell passes to O'Neal. Off target with his three. Booker against O'Neal. Johnson, and then Johnson with the dunk. Booker more and more becoming a double threat, not just to score the ball, but starting to realize he can set up his teammates. Conley inside the line, and a close game so far for the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Jazz with the Jazz. All right, Dave, thank you. And through this one plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far it's been one outstanding game from donovan mitchell definitely been challenging the defense here early on not settling for anything outside and you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen the star backcourt of paul and booker are out there Aiton is at the center with johnson next to him and it's bridges in at the three slot that's who's out there for phoenix Paul against Clarkson. He takes it in. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got his seventh rebound here tonight. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Johnson dishes to Paul. Johnson sets the screen for Paul. Bridges outside. Fires the three. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Utah leading. And Bridges, in his young part of his career, has taken on the challenge of guarding some of the league's best offensive players. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. The pass to Clarkson. Here is House. He's guarded by Johnson. The shot by House is no good. And Brett with Mikael Bridges. Defense is his calling call. I love the fact that he just has such great hands, anticipation, and length. And he just plays a lot bigger than the size he is on the floor. That kind of stuff disrupts offensive players. And he also just continues to track. Even if he's beat, he will give you second effort uh, to stay in the plays defensively. That, that's a high-level skill for a young player. Johnson finds Paul. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. For the tie. And it's Aiton missing. Yeah, I can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. Nobody near Pascal. The Jazz again can't hit it. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. Still looking for their first bucket of the second half. Paul looking over the floor. Johnson from outside. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Johnson's got the lead up to one now for Phoenix. And finally, someone scores. Yeah, the buckets have been few and far between, and neither team able to get into any sort of offensive rhythm. And Phoenix with a whole new group on the floor. The drive by Clarkson. There's the dish to Whiteside. Clarkson against Holland. Clarkson kicks to House. 
Shot from the top of the key. Another miss by Utah. Oof, ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. And it's Shaman missing. Jazz have gone 0 5 to the start of the second quarter. Extremely cold shooting coming out of the locker room. Clarkson outside. Gay is screen on Holland. Clarkson for three. That shot off the mark. The Suns go the other way with it. 135 left here in the third quarter. McGee inside. He's against Gay. The shot's good from McGee. And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Clarkson against Holiday. Right side inside. Yes, and the foul. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. And a nice show of strength from Whiteside there. Slapped on the shot, but still makes the basket. The Jazz shooting their first free throw of the And as a team, excellent. A season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. Sharch finds Crowder. Back to Sharch. Over Whiteside. The shot by Sharch. No good. The Jazz shooting their second and third free throws tonight. That's good from Rudy Gay. Pretty consistent player when healthy, and nice to see Rudy Gay working back to this kind of athletic prowess. Phoenix has gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Outside Holiday, pass to Shamit. From outside, off the mark. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. The Suns trailing. Six-second difference between shot and game plan. And again, it's the Suns missing. Pass to House. The three. Another miss by Utah. Down low. Here's Holiday. The rebound by the Jams. Gay's got his fourth rebound in this one. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Utah out in front. Ladies and gentlemen, your son, Panther. And while we can, now uh, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Taking a look at the Jazz. They've got Clarkson. Whiteside is out there with Rudy Gay. Then it's Eric Castle. And it's House in at the two-guard spot. First team foul. Really no idea Jazz why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. So Utah ends up going with the new group. And Booker kicks to Bridges. Kicks it out to Booker. Here's the three. Aiton inside. Defended by Gobert. And the shot is long. Jazz shooting just 33%, struggling to get good looks. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. <laughs> How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. Back to Conley. Bridges against O'Neal. Not great numbers. But great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Booker with it. Now defended by Mitchell. Ayton, the pass to Paul. Sinks the triple. Paul's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Phoenix. Now here's Conley. O'Neal is screen on Paul. Conley, the pass to O'Neal. Bridges with the steal. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. And the wide open shot from Paul. It's good with the assist that time from Johnson. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Suns. 
Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. They have not wasted any time here tonight. They've pushed it whenever they've had the opportunity and have gotten a lot of fast break points out of it. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. And here's Conley outside. Gobert dishes to O'Neal. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on eight. Yeah, the defender all over. The first free throw is good. Utah. Royce O'Neal. Two shots. And he can't hit the second. Phoenix leading by three. Booker left side for three. Another three for Phoenix. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Mitchell looking it over. Lent it go with a three. And taken away by Johnson. And now the Suns, a fast break. Booker against Mitchell. Kicks it out to Johnson. Ball outside. Eight in a screen on Conley. Six to shoot. The shot by Paul, no good. Jazz trail by six to the wing right side. From deep, that's tipped. Mitchell outside. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Back to go bare. Pass to Mitchell. Takes a shot at the elbow. It's hauled in by the Suns. Bridges outside. left here in the fourth quarter. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the jam. And that's an intentional foul. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. On the wing, Mitchell. Defended by Booker. Mitchell against Booker. From the high post. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Sun clean by six. Ball with the ball. He's picked up by O'Neal. Johnson can't get it to go. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Hits it from three-point range. O'Neal's got four points now in the quarter. Man, he's a pure point guard with a terrific vision. Finally finds open teammates at times before they realize they're open. It out to Booker. Aiton sets the pick for Booker. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Bridges with the steal. Thirty-five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Johnson a wide open look. Phoenix no good that time either. Points are an absolute must here. Can't come away empty. That would be the nail in the coffin. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. And Mitchell drops them both. And yeah, not the guy that you want to put at the line in these moments. He's not missing these. And an intentional foul right there. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. There's 18 seconds left to play here on the fourth, and he commits the intentional foul. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. Chris Paul, as a veteran leader, just sets a high standard for the team that he's playing on. It's really elevated the other guys. Well, important there to have the three-point lead because only a three can tie it up now. Right on the first, and that brings them within two here. So he gets them both. And how fearless is Donovan Mitchell? I mean, as a rookie in his first playoff series, he went off for 38 in a closeout game against none other than Russell Westbrook. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Second one is good. In both at the line, and it's a three-point game. 
looking to tie it up with a big triple. Well, you can bet that's what they're looking for this late in the game. They need that three. So they foul intentionally. First free throw is good, and that brings them within two. He's off on the free throw and able to get that second one to drop in. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. Utah ball. And the Jazz call time here. Guys, what do you think? Yeah, and the only chance here is a lob at the front of the rim. A tip in to tie the game. There's not enough time to get a catch and shoot. Let's get loud, fans. Stand up and make some noise. The Jazz with the timeout. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he couldn't make that shot go to force overtime. And so it's Phoenix who straight by with the win. That was a fun night of basketball.
right up. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to... T well, we see it almost every night, Clark. Another great backcourt matchup. Well, B.A., this league is so stacked with tremendous guards. I mean, all-star caliber guards all over the league. And it really creates a situation where being able to choose guards for the all-star game is just uh, virtually impossible to not leave somebody off that's deserving. Here are the five for the Suns. The duo inside, Johnson and Aiton. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. And it's Bridges in at small forward. And it's Phoenix's ball. Outside Paul. Pass to Booker. The kick out to Paul. Count it from distance. Paul is a more than capable three-point shooter now. He does not need much separation either to get off his shot. Doncic against Paul. Doncic passes to Powell. To the inside. And Powell with the stuff. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. And he says he needs to improve his game in a lot of areas. But you ask me, Luka Doncic is one of the most complete players you'll find. From deep, Johnson. And it's Brunson with the rebound. And Dallas with possession. Back to Bullock. To the middle. Pass to Finney Smith. Down low. It's stolen by Johnson. Aiton passes to Paul. Here's Johnson. The three ball. Bullock puts it in. And you talk about the overall game of Doncic. He's a tremendous passer, a tremendous rebounder, and we know he can score. And that's what defines the great players. Even if his shot's off on a given night, he has other ways to impact the game. Now here's Paul. Pass to Aiden. Down to five on the shot clock. Bridges passes to Paul. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Paul's got five points. That possession nearly gets away from him. But then here comes CP3 to the rescue. Doncic against Paul. And it's Doncic missing. Good offense squaring up against better D there. Got to appreciate that stop. Outside Paul. The three is up. Doesn't go for him. And it's Dallas the other way. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Back to Brunson. Pass to Bullock. Now Doncic. From deep. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. You know, currently, they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. Outside Booker. Two minutes remaining in the first. 17-footer. And it's Brunson with the rebound. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Ball with a steal. And Luka Doncic is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Phoenix has gone one for five from deep in this first. Struggling from that area. Pass to Booker. Aiton against Powell. Aiton passes to Booker. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. No question. Booker excels at finding shots. He can be a real point machine. First quarter of play, and just over three and a half minutes in. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this quarter. Man. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Dallas. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Bullock. Fires in the triple. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Now Paul, five points in the game. Spins. Outside for Booker. Johnson passes to Booker. 
Booker missing again. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. What he might lack in height at the four spot, he makes up for it with his burst. And Phoenix shooting an unremarkable 30% in the first. Paul passes to Aiden. Outside Johnson from deep. Phoenix no good that time either. The Mavericks have gone three of eight to get things underway. Pass to Powell. Here's Bullock. Outside Brunson. Now here's Powell from seven feet. They grab their own miss from the arc. Not going to go that time. It's a tie game in Dallas. And we'll be back with you shortly. Ladies and gentlemen, your Maverick dance team. Ladies and gentlemen, and some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Mavericks? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. Reggie Bullock is out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. Then it's Luka Doncic. Then there's Dwight Powell. And it's Brunson in at the shooting guard. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Now here's Johnson. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Just five on the clock. Reporter Bridges. The kick out to Paul. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Ball's got eight points. You know, you talk about stretching the defense out. I mean, with Chris Paul, I think you've got to tag him as soon as he crosses half court because he'll, he'll let it fly. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. Now here's Brunson. And Jalen Brunson gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. And great job to establish position and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. Here in the second quarter, a little over a minute of play. The kick out to Johnson. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Johnson's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Doncic against Paul. It's Bullock on the wing. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. When you play with Luka now, Doncic, he's ready to find you if you're open. So you've got to be ready to receive. And one thing that talent evaluators wondered about with Doncic coming in, was he quick enough to play point guard? And in case you're wondering how that worked out, the answer is yes in bold capital letters. Brunson with it. Now guarded by Booker. They recover it. Pass to Finney Smith. Here's Bullock. There's a screen. Fires the three. Rebounded by Johnson. And for the Mavericks scouts, there was never any question. Luka Doncic was born to quarterback at offense, Clark. Boy, he sees the game two frames ahead, PA. I mean, he's got the ball on the string. He's got great size. I think he's a blend of magic and kid when you think about how he sees the floor. They weren't the quickest either, but like Luka, they got where they wanted to when they needed to. Now here's Doncic. Out to the right wing. Six on the shot clock. Tipped. Stolen by Bridges. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Johnson. That one's good for two. Johnson. Johnson's got five points now this quarter. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Suns? Their frenetic defense has been impressive. Putting ball handlers on the defensive and turning them over as well. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnovers. Out of bounds. It'll be Phoenix's ball. You know, that's just sloppy basketball giving away a possession. No real reason for that turnover. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Now here's Paul. Give him eight points now. 
And there's a minute 45 left in the first half. Booker for three. The kick out to Johnson. Let's the three fly. Add that to his line. Now three for six. They're going into overdrive, doing everything they can to extend this run. Ball against Doncic. Pass to Finney Smith. Kicks it to Doncic. The three ball. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got six rebounds now in the game. Bridges on the attack. Now Aiden shoots from 14. It's rebounded by Dallas. Doncic has got four rebounds now. Powell outside. Takes it inside. And Powell with the stuff. Powell is a tomahawk jammer. I mean, he gets ahead of steam behind him. He's ready to throw it down. Ball against Doncic. That's one of the few mistakes they've made this half. Turnovers haven't been an issue for him yet. First team foul. The Mavericks trailing. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. And Doncic launches from deep. Can't hit that one. And Phoenix the other way now. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used his contribution. You know, he hasn't contributed well scoring the ball, but obviously his teammates have. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Ball against Doncic. The kick out to Johnson. Pass to Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Absolutely salivates when he attacks the rim. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. It's been quite a game for Chris Paul. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. On the floor for Phoenix, they've got Jay Crowder, Aaron Holiday out there with Landry Shamit. Then there's Dario Saric, and it's McGee in at the center position. His hang time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top, B.A. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. And can put the other team on its heels. We'll see how it plays out. Now here's Sharic. No good on the shot. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Hardaway, the pass to Green. Over Holiday. Hardaway finds Green. Six to shoot. McGee with a steal. Here's Shamit. Nails it from three. Shamit's gotten himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. The Mavericks shooting 40% so far in this one. Left side, Hardaway. Well, you hear about the importance of confidence. You think that was something you always had as a player, Grant, or did you have to build that up? Well, I mean, success ultimately does breed confidence, and I had success, fortunately, at a young age. So you have to understand you have to always attack, and you always have to believe in yourself no matter what the situation. You know, for Tim Hardaway Jr., it's the family business. His dad was a pro and an outstanding one in his own right in the NBA. So Junior knows exactly what it takes to excel at this level. Holiday passes to Crowder. McGee with it. Stolen by Dinwiddie. To the wing, right side. For the lead! And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Outside Holiday. To the inside. The three. No good. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. The shot by Bertans. No good. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. 
Grant, if you had to describe exactly what a stretch four looks like, you might be describing Davis Bertans. Yeah, that's the mold that Bertans has been carved out of. He can draw defenders away from the hoop with his outside shooting. And when he needs to mix it up in the paint and grab some rebounds, he's more than capable of that, too. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Sharich, the pass to McGee. And McGee with the stuff. And obviously a total team player. Sharich is a guy, if his teammate is open, he's going to get the ball. Hardaway on the wing. Dinwiddie against Holiday. Green for three. He can't hit that time. And Phoenix the other way now. Right around three minutes into this second half. Holiday passes to Crowder. Remaining in the third. Two minutes. Dallas foul. Josh Green. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Outside Holiday. Pass to Shaman. Four on the clock. The Suns need to get off a shot. Here's McGee. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Phoenix has gone just one of three from deep since the break. On the wing, Crowder. Outside, Holiday. 121 left in the third. And the three off target. Outside, Green. Pass to Hardaway. Back to Green. Bertans with the ball. Covered by Crowder. Here's Marjanovic. Green for three. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Now here's Sharich. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Green. Three on three. This for the tie. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Give that one to Jay Crowder. Well, you got to give Hardaway Jr. credit, guys. I mean, he's excellent at finding ways to get to a spot and then make the defense compromise. That one drops. He ties it up. 32 seconds left in the third quarter. Now here's Holiday. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Shaman. Now Sharich. Three-pointer. No good there. Green against Sharich. Hardaway, the pass to Green. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but I don't like to see it when the game is this close. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. That's the end of the third, and it's tied up. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist to the Game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. Boban Marjanovic out there with Davis Bertans. Then it's Green. Then it's Tim Hardaway. And it's Denwitty in at the one. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Here's Sharich. And it's out of bounds. Still Phoenix's ball. And it's a completely new group here for the Mavericks. Sun substitution. Outside Johnson. Jacks up a three. 
The kick out to Paul. The three drains the triple. You know, Paul's three. really gotten better at the catch and shoot jump shot. It looks a lot easier for him now than it did earlier in his career. Smooth rhythm and smooth release, too. Now here's Doncic. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. The Suns have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Outside Booker. Outside Johnson. Back to Booker. To the middle. Here's Aiton. Hangs. Nice move. And Aiton with the stuff. Good court vision from Booker. He sees a wide open man and gets him the ball for an assist. Doncic outside. Pass to Finney Smith. Here's Bullock. Clock at six. Doncic finds Brunson. Three pointer. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Phoenix has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Here's Paul. Booker for three. Another three for Phoenix. Lackluster defense. Showing no desire to chase shooters off that line. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. Now here's Doncic. Brunson passes to Doncic. Puts up a three. Kept alive. Great positioning on the putback. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Doncic against Paul. Going inside. Outside for Booker. Fires for three. Kenny Smith pulls it in. For Dallas, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Stolen by Booker. Let's it go from deep. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got three assists in the game. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Suns? Defensively, they've played with a high energy level tonight. And all the steals we've seen, a result of that aggressiveness. Something that's also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. Now here's Bridges. Outside Johnson. It's Booker on the wing. Over Brunson. And that one comes up a bit short. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Doncic. The ball's knocked loose. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Ball against Doncic. Baseline try. Paul can't get it to go. The Mavericks trailing. Doncic outside. Pass to Bullock. Knocks down the triple. And defensively, how do you leave them that open in crunch time? The Suns have gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Eight, a screen on Doncic. Paul against Doncic. Aiden inside. The kick out to Paul. From downtown. Mavericks with the rebound. Doncic outside. Cash. And that one brings him within one. You expect he's going to find a way to pull through in the clutch. Expect them to take their time this trip down. Yeah, B.A., the clock is theirs to burn. The kick out to Johnson. Talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Doncic. Count it. And he's brought them within two points now. And Phoenix has possession. And here's Paul. So it's 
the Suns taking the W in a close one. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans.
some talent for sure in the backcourt tonight. Greg, did, did it ever add anything for you playing across from another top-level guard? Oh, it always raises the stakes, and, and you want to rise to that challenge. But in the end, it all comes back to winning as a team. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. Jalen Brunson out there with Luka Doncic. Then there's Dwight Powell. Then there's Reggie Bullock. And it's Finney Smith in at the power four. Bullock passes to Finney Smith. Here's Doncic. And the dunk Luka, by Doncic. Doncic. Well, Luka can get himself into the paint with consistency. And boy, does he make that a high percentage finish. Conley surveying the D. Doncic with the steal. Two on none. No one back to stop this. Let's it go from deep. His second shot goes Luka, in. Off to a good Doncic. start. Two for two. Luka Doncic showing you right there he can play without the basketball. Ready on the catch. Conley the pass to Mitchell. Stolen by Brunson. Over to the wing. Dallas moving it around. And they pick up two. How about the skills of Dwight Powell down low? Hard for the defense to match up with his length. And the point guard, Jalen Brunson, I played against his father, Rick, for many years. And the young fella showing he might have what it takes to improve on his old man. And that's coming from you, who knows a little something about father-son point guard duos. Maybe Cole will have a chance to do the same, young sir. Ouch. And Doncic throws it down. I'll tell you this, Luka Doncic will never turn down an opportunity to finish at the rim. He's elite and loves those opportunities. Now here's Conley. This is a Joe O'Neal. Mitchell outside. Lock at six. Has to go bare. Brunson against Mitchell. It's over Brunson. And it's Mitchell missing. The Mavericks have gone four of five from the field so far. Another three for Dallas. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Outside Conley. Bogdanovich with a screen on Doncic. Mitchell outside. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. You can see the kind of confidence Donovan Mitchell has in that handle. His ability to navigate off the dribble drive. Nice. Now here's Brunson. Pass to Finney Smith. To the paint. And stolen by Bogdanovich. Bogged up there for Mitchell. Doncic with it. He's picked up by O'Neal. And the dunk by Powell. I'll tell you, right now, these guys cannot be stopped. Boy, it looks like their confidence is at an all-time high, just feeding off each other right now. Now, here's Mitchell. Shots over Powell, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's an instance where you see the pressure Mitchell puts on a defense. He's aggressive, and he's explosive. You've got to deal with both. And Mitchell drops them both. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line, and boy, has his stroke been on the money. And Doncic, here we go. Bullet kicks to Doncic. The pass to Powell. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. Wow. And they get it back. Going inside. Bullock passes to Finney Smith. Here's Brunson. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Here is Conley. Kicks it to Mitchell. Into the lane. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. This is what Donovan Mitchell entered the league with. That explosive first step and earns himself a trip to the free throw line. Mavericks leading by five. 55 seconds left in the first quarter. 
Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Kevin, everybody's got second in Luka's offensive game, trying to find that weakness. And I'm just here to tell you, I don't think he has it. All free throws good from Doncic. Some people believe Luka Doncic's rise to stardom has been quick, but let's not forget this young man left his home to turn pro as a 13-year-old. Now here's Conley. Shoots over Doncic. Mitchell against Brunson. Fires from the line. And it's Mitchell missing. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Mitchell. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Six on the shot clock. Bogdanovich with a screen on Brunson. Mitchell wide open. And the three ball is good. Mitchell's got nine points. Well, this guy came into the league as a volume three-point shooter. Now Donovan Mitchell's percentages have greatly improved. He has put in a ton of work, and it's paying dividends. It's been all Fans, your jazz dancer. All right. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game. How it's been going for the Mavericks. They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight real plays in transition. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've gotten off turnovers. Conley is the point with Mitchell is the two guard. O'Neal is out there with Bogdanovich, and it's Gobert in at the center. That's the group right now for Utah. Mitchell outside. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. 12 points for him. Donovan Mitchell will answer with his own three. This guy has got a ton of pride and competitiveness. Out to Doncic. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. There's O'Neal with the three. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man, Kev? Brunson up top, covered by Mitchell. The drive by Doncic. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to go on Boyan Bogdanovich. Nice work to get it inside and drop contact. It wasn't too long ago, Doris, that people referred to the NBA as a point guard lead. Think that's still the case? I don't, Kevin. When you look across the league right now, the best players come from across positions. You've got Giannis Antetokounmpo, not a point guard. You might describe him as a point forward, but you could describe him in many ways. Nikola Jokic, the reigning MVP, is a center, but really he's a point center. LeBron James remains one of the most dangerous guys in the league. Kevin Durant will go down as one of the great scorers in history and really a much better defender than given credit for it. So, no, I'd say the golden age of point guards is over. Here's Doncic. Dallas, no good that time either. And so Gobert will bring it up for the Utah Jazz. They trail by one. And it's Bogdanovich out of the foul. Well, that's about hustle and effort from Bogdanovich. To go after the rebound with that kind of intention is exactly what you hope for as a coach. Brunson finds Doncic. Fires the three. Hands it from downtown. Brunson. Brunson's got a pair of triples in the second now for the man. Boy, he's putting pressure on the defense. That's two from downtown this period. Conley the pass to Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. Rudy Gobert emphatically finishes that one. Nicely done. Doncic fires from way outside. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Brunson against Mitchell. Gobert with a screen for Mitchell. Shoots. No good off the back of the rim. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. The Mavericks have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Doncic kicks to Brunson. Takes the three. Two minutes remaining in the first half. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Mitchell. Maverick ball. Go, 
Doncic against O'Neal. In the corner, Powell with it. Passes it to Finney Smith. Five to shoot. And here's Doncic from the arc. Gobert pulls it in. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Doncic passes to Brunson. Doncic against O'Neal. Doncic kicks to Brunson. Inside, stolen by Mitchell. Doncic against Conley. Pat Donovich wide open. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got three assists in the game. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stance for the Jazz. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. There's something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. Here's Conley. And that one goes long. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. That's his first personal foul. Jazz leading by six. Outs pass Conley. Mitchell looking it over. The dish to Gobert. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Second shot opportunity. Here's Gobert and slam dunk by Gobert. That's a case where Rudy Gobert is outworking the defense, keeping the play alive and finishing strong. And so it's Utah holding on to an eight-point lead, heading into the break. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a thanks so much, David and Wolf. third quarter of basketball for you two quarters in the books it's been one outstanding game from donovan mitchell and the way he goes at defenders he is bound to get to the line just like he did there in that first half i have to love his tenacity this guy stays in attack mode makes defenders work tries to keep them off balance on the floor right now for the mavericks we've got hardaway Alvis Burton's out there with Marjanovic. And it's Green, and it's Dinwiddie in at the point. Larson outside, pass to Whiteside. Out pass to Clarkson, stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And it's Green, missing. And here's Whiteside, he'll bring it up for Utah. Leading by five. Here's Clarkson. Dinwiddie with the rebound. Dallas has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Outside, Green. Pass to Marjanovic. Hardaway with a wide open look. Offensive rebound, Mavericks. It's deflected and stolen by Whiteside. Gay passes to Basker. And slam dunk by Pascal. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Hardaway kicks to Dinwiddie. Driving inside. Rebounded by the Jazz. And here's the fast break. Clarkson leading the way. To the left wing. Here's House. No good from 18. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Bertanis and finished off by Bertans. Davis Bertans punches it. Oh, my goodness. 
Doris, one thing you and I love about Davis Bertans is accurate three-point shooting. Well, let's be real. In the modern NBA, there may be no more value to skill than range shooting. Now, when you couple that with Davis' size, look out, folks. Six to shoot. They get it back. Wide side, the pass to get. Clarkson outside. Feeds to Whiteside. Shoots over Marjanovic. Spencer Dinwiddie. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Great job preventing that ball from coming into the post. Might have been an easy two if the defense wasn't there. You can see the kind of confidence Hardaway has in his shot. This guy is so fluid in the catch and shoot situation. Hudson against Dinwid. remaining in the third. Here is House. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Gay. Bertans grabs the board. Not how they hoped to start this half. One for five, brick after brick. Let's start building the building. Dinwiddie finds Marjanovic. And off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. Deflects the pass. How's the pass to get? That's tipped. Well, Davis Bertans puts that 6'10 frame to use with that rejection. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Clarkson against Dinwiddie. Bertans against Clarkson. Dinwiddie. Hardaway for three. There's the double team from Whiteson. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Quick thinking pays off big. What a block. A steal. Pass break. Here come the Jazz. Nobody near Pesco. A three-pointer is right on target. And now a seven-point Jazz lead. Yeah, a lot of coaches might let you hear it for taking the three-pointer on the break, but I like the decision there. The D had already collapsed inside. And then you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. Dinwiddie against Clarkson. 27 seconds left to play here in the third. Outside, House. Jazz working now with the fresh shot clock. Here's Pascal. Here's Whiteside. And finally they hit one. Whiteside. And the Jazz lead by seven. And the presence of Whiteside in the paint, really unreal. He is a dominant figure down low. Great work to grab that second chance opportunity. I'm deep. They grab their own miss. The putback is no good. Angel, it's the Utah Jam. Bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Looking good at this point, but wanting more. We've got more. Fans, your jazz dancers. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented, as always, by State Farm. Dan, he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA. And you see it right there on display. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to listen in on what Jason Kidd was talking about with his players. He is not happy with the sloppy play offensively. He said, make the easy play. Take care of the ball. We can't afford to just give away golden opportunities. And we'll see if they can clean it up, guys. Thanks, David. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. Taking a look at the Jazz. Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. Rudy Gobert is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's O'Neal in at the three. From the arc, Gobert trying to get open, and Donovan Mitchell hits from deep. Mitchell's got the lead up to 10 now for the Jams. And a deep three from Doncic. 
trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Again, Mitchell missing. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. Outside Conley, from deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Brunson. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. Might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Average trail by 10. He kicks to Doncic. Dallas again missing. Also a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift when they need it. Outside Conley. Shot clock at six. For three, Mitchell. Another miss by Utah. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. And slam dunk by Gobert. But the seven-footer Gobert, the alley finish. My goodness, the stifled tower with the score. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Now the pass to Mitchell. Passes it to O'Neal. Nice ball movement by Utah. Six on the shot clock. Out to Conley. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Another shot. Mitchell trying to free himself. And he gets the jumper to drop. And the Jazz lead by 14. Doncic fires from way outside. Dallas no good that time either. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Jazz. Has to go back. Launches it. Conley's shot is off. Average trail by 14. We play just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Here's Doncic. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. Powell kicks to Doncic. Makes it off the glass. Well, the Doncic. tight handle allows Luka Doncic to make the pretty move off the bounce. Jazz leading by 12. 106 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Bogdanovich dishes to Conley. Back to Bogdanovich. On the wing, Mitchell. Beyond the arc. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Jazz. Two great rebounding teams. And these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight. And that was the edge they needed. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Donovan Mitchell. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. And here is Conley. Mitchell outside. From deep. The shot misses. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast.
defeat the Dunning. And Grant, these teams both stacked in the front court. Stacked indeed, B.A. The versatility demanded in today's game, revolutionizing those positions. Now, it's not enough to just control the paint. You've got to do more. So let's take a look at the Phoenix Suns starting lineup. The duo inside, Johnson and Aiden. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. And it's Bridges in at the three slot. Here's Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. Finding a man wide open. Mike Conley does an exceptional job of leading this team. Paul against Conley. Paul passes to Booker. Five to shoot. The Suns need to get off a shot. Bridges misses. Inside. Oh, got a piece of it. Right wing. From deep, Conley. That one no good. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Booker, the pass to Bridges. Here's Aiden. Defended by Gobert. It's Bridges on the wing. Outside Paul. With the fadeaway. Rebounded by the Jazz. Now Mitchell. Bogdanovich on the wing. Hits a three-pointer. With unlimited range, Bogdanovich forces you to extend your defense. And I know one thing drives Rudy Gobert is earning his respect. All-star snubs, people count his money. He's determined to have the final word. Now here's Johnson. Three-pointer, Bridges. The rebound by Bogdanovich. Three-pointer, O'Neal. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Sinks the tray. Smitty, you talk about Gobert. He's motivated by his doubters. He wears that number 27, signifying his draft position back in 2013. And listen to this. Even in the 2021 All-Star game, he and teammate Donovan Mitchell were the last two picks. Whatever the reason, he knows people will respect a champion. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Mitchell against Booker. Pass to Aiden. Outside for Booker. The three is up. Can't get it to drop. And Utah will come the other way. The three from Mitchell. Outside Conley. Gobert finds Conley. O'Neal on the wing. O'Neal on the wing. Conley with the ball. Now guarded by Aiden. And Aiden pulls it down. The Suns trailing. Bridges passes to Booker. No good on the three. The Jazz have gone three of eight to get things underway. On the wing, Mitchell. And Gobert with the bucket on the assist by Mitchell. Because he attracts so much defensive attention, Donovan Mitchell often finds teammates all alone. The kick out to Johnson. To the paint. Bridges passes to Johnson. Buries it from three. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. 105 left in the first quarter of the game. The three from Mitchell. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. Oh, it's just raiding threes for them early. All against Conley. A step back shot. Aiden inside. Defended by Gobert. Aiden, no good. For Utah, they've gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. The Suns shooting just 22% in the early stages of this one. Pass to Booker. 
Out to Bridges. Launches a three. It's not going to go for him. So Utah will take it the other way. From deep, Conley. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Bridges passes to Aiden. Lays it up and banks it in. Aiden's got five now. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Here's Mitchell. No good off the front rim. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Jazz out in front. Up five. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we... If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Jazz. They didn't need any time to warm up from long range today. Their three-point shooting has been terrific in the first half. Another aspect of... Oh! oh! I saw it! Wow! And he saw it! What you love about Donovan Mitchell, not only does he explode into his moves, he finishes with authority. Outside Booker. Pass to Johnson. And a miss there on the triple. Utah has gone three of six from deep so far. Here's Bogdanovich. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got three assists tonight. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Hey, Brian, the Phoenix Suns are enjoying a renaissance. Big man DeAndre Ayton said, quote, from starters to the bench players, this team is well-balanced, and we compete. We challenge each other every day. To be honest, it's the best team I've ever been on throughout my career. Guys, they are confident. That they are, Allie. Thanks. Oh, there's the alley! Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Booker with it. Guarded now by Mitchell. Back to Booker. Pass to Paul. Outside Johnson. And here's Booker. Six to shoot. This one for three. And he's now one for four after that one. Well, Booker can just bury you from the arc if you let him. He's a pretty efficient range shooter. Now Gobert. Bogdanovich with it. Covered by Johnson. Conley up top. To the middle. It's tipped. Back to Mitchell. Oh, rejected by Aiton. And he gets it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. The Suns have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. And the number 45 that Donovan Mitchell wears, it's a tribute to Michael Jordan. MJ Ward for most of his high school days while he played baseball and for a short while in the NBA. Outside Booker. Back to Aiden. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got six rebounds in the game. Good job hitting the glass. They're plus eight in rebounding. The Jazz, again, can't hit. And you talk about that 45 that Jordan wore playing baseball. Well, Mitchell also very connected to that sport. His father, who played professionally and works in the majors currently. Yeah, and baseball, B.A., was Donovan's sport growing up. But a broken wrist his sophomore year in high school after a collision at the plate steered his path toward hoops. Utah leading. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Mitchell with the ball, and it's Paul picking him up. Mitchell finds Bogdanovich. Back to Mitchell from deep. And it's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Still Utah's ball. And Mitchell with the slam. You've got to trust your receiver to go get that pass. Did you see Donovan Mitchell catch and finish in the same motion? Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Conley against Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Johnson. Beyond the arc. Phoenix no good that time either. For Utah, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Bogdanovich, that's good. Ooh, just great 
worth it. Cashing in on the fast break. Great job of reading the floor. Got to the rim and made a play. Here's Booker. Fires from deep. Rebounded by the Jazz. Gobert's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Mitchell's got 12 points. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Outside Booker. For three, Bridges. Utah with the rebound. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Left side, Mitchell. Shoots over Paul. Off the left rim and out. Phoenix has gone just one of six from distance during the second quarter. Can they get it? They get the rebound. Out to Bridges. Outside Booker. Aiden, a screen on Mitchell. Booker goes in. Pass to Aiden. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. O'Neal on the wing. 4-3. That shot, no good. And it's the Suns with the ball. Trailing by 13. Back to Bridges. Johnson passes to Booker. From behind the arc. Hits the trifecta. Booker's gotten his second bucket. No question. Booker excels at finding shots. He can be a real point machine. And so it's Utah earning this break in the action. Up 10. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more... 14. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. What a game we're seeing from Donovan Mitchell. Using all that momentum behind him to finish with power. Gotta love watching him dive toward the rim. His activity level has made an impact, and he is fearless. They've got Hassan Whiteside, Rudy Gay out there with Eric Pascal. Then it's Daniel House, and it's Clarkson in a point. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. Clarkson against Peyton. Takes a step back. And Grant, you were named co-rookie of the year alongside Jason Kidd back in 95. Something that's only happened three times in NBA history. Yeah, I'm still bitter about that. I was robbed. Jason knows that. Everyone knows that. Now, nah, Jason and I, we are good friends. We joke about this all the time. But it was really an honor to share this award with someone of his caliber. Really one of the true greats to ever play in the NBA. But I was still robbed. <laughs> that one goes. Count it. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Here's Clarkson. Pass to House. It's stolen by Holiday. And now the Suns fast break. And here's Crowder from the arc. On the wing, Holiday. Here's Shamit. Outside Holiday. And there's the drive. The shot misses. Excellent D there from Whiteside. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. House, well-placed jumper from the free throw line. And the Jazz lead by 10. The defense was clearly not on the same page. No one picked up the open man. And here's Peyton. Pass to Shaman. Jazz foul, Daniel House. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Here's Holiday. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Puts the move on. Now here's McGee. Oh, misses the dunk. Here's Pascal. They get it back. Back to Clarkson. Pass to Whiteside. McGee with a steal. And the Suns pushing it up now. You need guys who are willing to make the next pass. Shamit doesn't rack up a lot of assists, but he's unselfish. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. And here's Whiteside. 
Here's Clarkson. And the shot goes down. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Peyton, no good. The Jazz have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Always a decent playmaker. Grant Elford Tayton has really improved his vision and awareness. Some of that's experience and some of that's being put in a position to succeed. I agree. It seems like he's found his comfort zone. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Pass to McGee. He tries for three. Phoenix no good that time either. Well, the Jazz shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Whiteside with a screen on Payton. Over to the wing. There's the triple. House misses. Well, the Suns shooting just 24% in this one. Not great. Back to Payton. On the wing, Holiday. Defended by Whiteside. Down low. Shot clock at six. Back to McGee. Stolen by Whiteside. Clarkson with the ball. And it's McGee picking him up. Clarkson passes to Pascal. The Jazz with another miss. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. With the step back. The baseline J is on the way. Utah with the rebound. Whiteside's got four rebounds now. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And they recover it. Back to Clarkson. Goes up again. Boy, they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still coming up empty. Payton passes to Crowder. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Gay attacking, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Gay's got his first bucket in this one. And despite some recent injuries, Rudy Gay showing a great burst on that drive. And so it's Utah. Now hold on. your jazz dancer. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the court right now for the Suns. Jake Crowder is out there with JaVale McGee. Then it's Aaron Holiday, and then it's Landry Shamit, and it's Peyton in at the one. Inside. And Whiteside with the bucket on the assist by Clarkson. And the Jazz lead by 12. Outside Peyton. Oh, trying his luck from deep. Offensive rebound. Takes a three. No luck on that one. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Clarkson passes to Whiteside. That three's off the mark. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Peyton against Clarkson. Stolen by Whiteside. Oh, they get a hand on it. And it's out of bounds. Still Utah's ball. A line change here for Utah. Sun substitution. Here's O'Neal. He's guarded by Bridges. Mitchell against Booker. And it's Mitchell. The miss. For Phoenix, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Out to the right wing. Paul for three. And it's Gobert with a rebound. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Bridges. I love it. Nice activity defensively. Getting in there to disrupt the pass. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Outside Mitchell. 
Paul against Conley. Goes up on the wing. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Ball finds Booker. Left side, Paul. Outside, Johnson. Bridges passes to Aiden. Outside for Booker. Just five to shoot. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. And I really love seeing Booker score off the ball. He shows his understanding for spacing and when to put up a shot. Conley passes to Mitchell. Pass to Gobert. Knocks it loose. 18 feet out. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got six rebounds here tonight. And that's a foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul of the game. Phoenix has gone one for five from downtown here in the fourth. Outside Paul. Outside for Booker. Stolen by Conley. That was just incredible instincts defensively. He saw the ball coming back out and made the play. Pass to O'Neal. Now here's Bogdanovich. Conley with the ball. Shot clock at five. Bogdanovich with a screen on Bridges. From deep, Conley. Here's Mitchell. Now Bogdanovich. Outside Mitchell. The Jazz again can't hit. For Phoenix, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. For three, Booker. Rebounded by the Jazz. Gobert's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And it's Mitchell that time on the assist by Conley. And the Jazz lead by 11. Nothing left to do but to watch the clock tick towards zero. Nice victory here for the Jazz. They made a point to get some good looks. Yes, they were able to pound the ball inside. I love it. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Donovan Mitchell. We saw him get a lot of touches tonight, and he wasted very few of them. Really made himself the backbone of their offense. Ugh, leaving nothing to chance. This run shutting the door on him. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Conley against Paul. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Outside Mitchell. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. At this point, it just feels like it's over. They couldn't make enough plays when it mattered. Interesting game, though, in terms of some of the matchups. For three, Booker drops in the three. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. And any decent look from distance, he's taking it. He has that locked-in mentality right now. This is when they need it the most. So they're so close to evening this game up. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, you know, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. He's an ultra-quick lefty with a great feel for how to run a team. Mike Conley is a tremendous asset for this franchise. All but over now. Those free throws help seal the deal. All right. Walker's coming onto the court. Come on. Get down for your jazz dancers. Booker fires from way outside. Offline. And so it's Utah with Dally. Thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks.
Definitely high powered at the point guard position in particular, much more scoring expected than in decades past. Yeah, you got to be a, a triple threat at every position, and, and at the point guard, it just commands so much more attention. They're the initiators of the offense. Uh, there's so many guys who are tremendous scorers that can 
create opportunities themselves with the ball and do it from deep range. They can play off a of pick and roll and manipulate the defenses. So it is a, it has been a golden era for point guards and it's a new way in which they play being able to shoot that three ball Kevin. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. Luka Doncic out there with Jalen Brunson. Then there's Dwight Powell. Then there's Reggie Bullock. And it's Finney Smith in at the power forward position. Now Aiton after Luka Doncic's three-pointer that didn't go. Aiton the pass to Paul. Four on the shot clock. Aiton kicks to Johnson. From deep three-point range. It's rebounded by Dallas. And with every team looking for floor spacers, Brent Bullock is a very good veteran option. Yeah, he's one of those guys you just don't want to let him get going and continues to draw the attention of the defense to create the kind of gravity for other players on the floor to have opportunity. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, Jason Kidd and I talked a few minutes ago. He was talking about the resilience of Chris Paul. Coach said no matter what you throw at him, even if they're down, he finds way to win games. His will is strong. It's a tough matchup for sure. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. Now here's Brunson following the shot by Chris Paul. Brunson the pass to Doncic. And he's good on the three ball. And so often acting as the catalyst. Doncic there playing off the ball, ready to catch and fire. Now here's Paul. Ayton the pass to Booker. Ayton trying to break free. A nice shot by Booker. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Bullock with it. Defended by Bridges. Finney Smith kicks to Bullock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Suns trail by three. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Ayton dishes the ball. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. And a deep three from Booker. And it's Finney Smith with the rebound. Mavericks leading by three. No one covered. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice three field goal. 151 left here in the first quarter. The drive by Paul. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. Again, the miss by Booker. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. For three, Booker. No basket with that shot. Having trouble finding his range, he's one for five. And there's DeAndre the call on DeAndre Eaton. That's his first personal That's his foul. first foul. First team foul. Now Doncic climbing the lane. And Doncic throws it down. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Finney Smith passes to Brunson. Misses the three. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Ayton finds Paul. Looking to end the run. Train for two points. That's a good find from Ayton. Understanding the defensive scheme. And he just waited for his teammate to be open. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just That's didn't get there quick enough. Now let's shoot their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Shooting that free throw good from Doncic. Luka Doncic. Two shots. All free throws good from Doncic. 
And during that second year in the league, Luka Doncic took the leap, averaging 28, 9, and 9, looking like the European version of LeBron James. Now, here's Aiton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Back to Booker. Three pointer. It's rebounded by Doncic. It's tipped, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Booker. Well, somehow they kept possession of the ball after that poor pass. Uh, they should be very thankful that wasn't a turnover. Just four seconds left in the first. The three for Doncic. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They've dictated the pick. Ladies and gentlemen, your son, Dancers. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Mavericks. They definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. Another big aspect has to be the fast break and transition play really looking to go up tempo tonight. A star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. Aiton is at the center with Johnson next to him. And it's Bridges in at the three slot. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Suns trail by eight. From deep. Powell pulls it in. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little bit little little too flashy there. And field goal. That, uh, that's unfortunate. And without much left to prove, Doncic still trying to hone the consistency of that three ball. But the confidence, no doubt, is there. And I like the back and forth here showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Anjic passes to Powell. That shot off. So Phoenix will take it the other way. All up top. Brunson covering. Paul kicks to Booker. Three-pointer. Mavericks with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Brunson. Here's Doncic. He sinks the 11-footer. Doncic. Doncic has got five points in the quarter. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Bridges outside. And he drives in. Johnson outside. Here's Finney Smith. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Doncic has got the lead up to 12 now for Dallas. And he's become a true warrior on the backboard. Doncic understands how to position himself on that offensive board. For three, Booker. It's good, and that's just his third make in 10 shots. An off game for him. And Brent the Rico added to the playoff format for 2021. The play-in tournament really became a hot button issue last season. Yeah, it felt like you either were gonna love it or you weren't gonna like it at all. And I think a lot of people really enjoyed the fact that the last month of the season provided games that had something at stake. And that positioning to get into the 10th slot with an opportunity to get into the playoffs drew the attention of, of NBA fans and players uh, to keep competing until the very end of the season to take that shot at getting into the postseason. So I really like it. And here's Aiton. He'll bring it up for the Suns. Six-point game. Booker dishes to Aiton. His three-pointer is off the mark. Looks like the game plan is they're willing to give him that kind of shot. It worked out for them this time, but if they give it to him again, I, I bet three points are coming. Passes to Booker. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played, trains it from beyond the arc. Twelve straight points off of three-pointers, and the D looks Chelsea. Driving in, and he throws it down hard with one hand. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Bridges misses. Mavericks leading by five. Here's Brunson. 
Dallas moving it around. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. For Phoenix, they've gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. With three, Booker. Bullock with the rebound. The Mavericks have gone four of ten in the second quarter from the field. Pass to Finney Smith. Out to the wing. From the arc. And stolen by Eaton. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. On up the court. Booker right side. Bridges outside. There's the pass to Paul. Six to shoot. Shoots the three. Phoenix no good that time either. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. That three off the mark. He got it up. It doesn't go for him. So that'll be it for the first half. A fairly even battle underway in this one. Mavericks lead by five. 24. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away after the break. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. You know, Luka Doncic has been exceptional here, guys. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. On the floor for Dallas, Travis Burton's out there with Green. Then there's Tim Hardaway Jr. Then there's Morganovich, and it's Dinwiddie in at the one spot. Peyton passes to Crowder. Jacks up a three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Here's Morganovich. Deflects the pass. Hardaway passes to Dinwiddie. Pass to Morganovich. To the inside. Green kicks to Hardaway. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Phoenix ball. Here's Payton. Outside Holiday. Passes it to Shamit. And it comes off the front of the rim. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. There's a screen by Marjanovic. Back to Dinwiddie. Poke loose. Yeah, good job. Just staying alert there, snatching up that long rebound. McGee finds Peyton. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Holiday, the pass to Peyton. Pocket six. Pass to Shamit. Bangs home the trifecta. Shamit's got the first bucket of the third here for Phoenix. And Shamit doing what he does best, scoring from distance. That's some nice accuracy. And there's the pass to Marjanovic. Outside, Green. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. Outside Hardaway. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Outside Holiday, McGee in the high post. In the corner, Shamit with it. Another three for Phoenix. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three ball. They're finding holes now in the D. On the wing, Hardaway. He's covered by Shamit. Hardaway dishes to Dinwiddie. to Bears from downtown can't hit that one and Phoenix will come the other way 
Outside Holiday. Passes it to Peyton. McGee against Marjanovic. And the wide open shot from Crowder. Off target from outside. Dallas has gone 0 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Dinwiddie finds Hardaway. Marjanovic is screen on Peyton. McGee against Marjanovic. Now here's Dinwiddie. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Outside green. Dallas again missing. And out of the gates here in this second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Shamit the pass to Crowder. And there's the drive. Out to Peyton. Dishes it to McGee. Shamit on the wing. Over Hardaway. And he overshot that one, missing. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Suns. Just didn't get his hands up in time on that one. They weren't on the same page there. Phoenix has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Pass to Shamit. Puts it up. Dinwiddie with the rebound. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. Assisted. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Hayden finds McGee. Shoots over Marjanovic. McGee's shot is off. The Mavericks leading. And the wide-open shot from Green. No good on the triple. The team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? The trade. And that one's good. Shamit. Shamit's got the lead up to two now for the Suns. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a... All right, look who's coming out of the court. Come on and get loud for your son. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Dallas shooting not great, 40% for the game. A moment now to reset the lineups. Brought to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. On the court for the Suns. Aiton is at the center with Johnson next to him. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Bridges in its small forward. Now the pass to Aiton. Back to Paul. Booker outside for three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Doncic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. And Aiton throws it down. As long as passes are in that area, Aiton's going to get up and go down. Tries the spin move. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his, That's his first foul. First That's, foul. It's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Brunson against Booker. Brunson kicks the foul. Doncic fires from way outside. And they've got to get back to what they were doing in that first half. If they want to somehow win this game, the offense has gone stagnant. And a D3 from Booker. The Mavericks pull it in. Now the Mavericks moving it up. And they double up Doncic. Pass to Finney Smith. No good on the three. Suns lean by four. Booker in the post. He's guarded by Bullock. And the basket by Johnson. Three-point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Doncic. Phoenix has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. 
for three. Booker. The Suns keeping it alive. A new 14. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Suns have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six on the wing, Johnson. Bridges outside. Call for three. The Mavericks pull it in. Finney Smith's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Driving in. Pass to Brunson. Now, here's Bullock. And here's Doncic from the arc. Booker pulls it in. Got a piece of it. And so Booker will bring it up for the Sun. Takes the three. Again, the miss by Booker. I think if I was coaching these guys right now, especially him, I'd tell him, you take one more three-point shot, and we're going to have some, some conversations here side by side. Two minutes remaining. They end the drought. And with that, the Phoenix lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Powell. That's an excellent play call to free him up from the defense. Well, taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that one. Here is Aiton. Johnson, the pass to Aiton. Back to Johnson. Down to five on the shot clock. Ball for three. The offensive rebound. Aiton kicks to Johnson. Pass to Booker. Takes a three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Boy, I'd love to see him just get a smidge closer to the basket. Once he sees a few shots go in from there, that might open up everything from distance. Paul goes in. Brunson against Johnson. Here's Hayton. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. And the Suns lead by seven. Well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Suns. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressive. A significant difference here has been the number of points off turnovers that they've got. And, and great court awareness there helps Luca find an opening, that he just explodes on the drive. Paul passes to Johnson. Three doesn't go for him. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And there's a whistle that goes on Mikael Bridges. Second team foul. That is his first foul of the game. Doncic feeling it out. Kicks to Bullock. Three pointer. The shot comes out. And so here's Phoenix. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Johnson with it. So it's Phoenix picking up the win. It will thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks.
Grant, you look at these rosters. A lot of talent in the backboard. Oh, a sign of the times, B.A. Agility and skill is in demand, and that is on display tonight. Here are the starters for Utah. The backcourt, it's Connolly and Mitchell. Royce O'Neal is out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. And it's Gobert in at the center spot. Nice work there from Doncic. Saw an opportunity to cash in and didn't let it go awry. Connolly passes to Mitchell. That one's good. And it's Connolly who picks up the assist. Oh, showing off the soft touch. Quality turnaround jumper there. Conley against Doncic. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Boyan Bogdanovich. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Powell. Outside Brunson. Pass to Bullock. With the drive. And he banks in the layup. Really nice job moving the ball around that time. Picking apart that defense. Despite being the consensus college player of the year back in 2018, Jalen Brunson wasn't drafted until the second round. No surprise he's made himself into a quality NBA player, though. Great IQ and hard work was paid off. No problems knocking that one down. Boy, what a brilliant find by Doncic. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to stream together some shots to have any kind of chance. Conley against Doncic. And he's going for the oop here. Can't finish the lob. And two national titles at Villanova for Jalen Brunson. Clark, why do you think he slipped to the second round? Well, it's hard to say, B.A. You know, the draft is more art than science, and guys slip for whatever reason. But if you're a pro and you get into a situation where you can prove how good you are, then you'll hang around in the league. Great college players may not have star potential, but he's truly a longtime NBA pro. Now here's Brunson into the lane. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. On the wing, Mitchell. Brunson defending. Looking to win the run. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gobert. I'm not sure what happened there. You just can't give away possessions in this league. The Mavericks have gone four of five so far. Looking sharp. Doncic outside. Brunson on the drive. Back to Doncic. Launches it. Nails it from beyond the arc. Doncic has got five points. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to Mitchell. Now here's Gobert. Right side, Mitchell. Driving inside. Al pulls it in. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. He needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Doncic, no good. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. The three from Mitchell. He buries it from three. Mitchell's got his second basket of the night. This is Mitchell at his best. Such an aggressive score. Always ready to shoot as soon as he catches it. And it's Doncic missing. The Jazz have gone only two of seven so far. A cold start. The baseline J. And there's Mitchell on the assist by Conley. Conley's got his third assist of the night. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. Now here's Doncic. He's got five. Up and in on the layup. Doncic has got his third bucket of the night. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Here's O'Neal. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Mitchell, the pass to Bogdanovich. Six on the shot clock. O'Neal misses. The Mavericks leading. Fenny Smith with it. Now Bogdanovich defending. Nice shot by Fenny Smith. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Mitchell with the ball. Seven points in the game. Over Brunson. 
Mitchell misses. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Nice shot by Finney Smith. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Now here's Conley. Pass to Mitchell. Knocks down the step back, Jay. Mitchell's got nine. A viable threat from the mid-range. Mitchell is excellent at recognizing when to take these shots. And here's Doncic outside. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Dallas ending the quarter up 10. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Come on and get loud for your Magic Stand. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Mavericks. You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. Reggie Bullock is out there with Dorian Finney-Smith. Then there's Dwight Powell. Then it's Luka Doncic. And it's Brunson in at the two. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Well, despite all he's accomplished, Donovan Mitchell hasn't escaped criticism. Those saying he doesn't have what it takes to get to the next level. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's not letting it phase him, though. Now here's Brunson. He's got five. Here's Finney Smith. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Well, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. Here's Conley. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's Mitchell. And again, it's Utah. And Grant, you talk about that criticism. Mitchell says he's fueled by it. But you know, it's not all hate. There's a lot of people saying Mitchell is Dwayne Wade 2.0. Yeah, I mean, both super athletic combo guards. Mitchell at this point is a better outside shooter. Wade a better passer and defender. Look, I'm still taking Wade, but Mitchell is every bit of a star player in this league. Two on the clock and stolen by Gobert. Mitchell with the ball, and it's Brunson picking him up. Fires the three. Mitchell misses. Dallas has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Here's Finney Smith. And it's Gobert with a rebound. You love to see guys challenge one another like that. Advantage to the defense that time. Again, the miss by Mitchell. And for Dallas, they're shooting 64% for the game. Amazing. Here's Brunson. No luck on that one. Ooh, great D that time from Gobert. Mitchell against Brunson. Right side, Mitchell. Gobert finds Mitchell. Gobert with a screen on Brunson. Pulls up on the wing. Outside for Mitchell. Takes the three. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Dallas, no good that time either. Utah has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Mitchell's got 16. And Grant, you were a big wing with skill. That type of player very much in demand in today's game. Well, I mean, today's NBA is all about versatility. Can you get it done offensively and defensively? Players with size and perimeter skills are very much invaluable to their team. Two minutes remaining. The Mavericks have gotten nothing to go out of five attempts so far this quarter. Wow, it's good. Wow, definitely a stretch five guy. Excellent accuracy from distance. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Mitchell. Drives to the hoop. On the wing, Mitchell. And he buries that Donovan one. Back Mitchell. rim and in. Mitchell's got nine points now in the quarter. Willing passers. Unselfish play. You have to appreciate this kind of offense. Here's Doncic. And Doncic with the jam. Doncic doing a nice job showing you some sneaky explosion and athleticism on that throwdown. Doncic against Conley. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Conley. 
on the wing, Mitchell. Five on the clock. Gobert with a screen on Brunson. Here's Mitchell. It's deflected. Like saying Powell flexes muscle on the defensive end. Really good at timing his jump to block the shots. Mitchell with the ball. Now Doncic defending. Mitchell, the pass to Gobert. Let's it fly. Mitchell can't get that one to fall. Dallas has got four of seven threes to go so far in this game. And here's Brunson from the arc. The shot, no good. And Utah will come the other way. Left side, Mitchell tries it from 16. That one off the back iron and out. Boy, he knows he should have knocked that one down, especially with the defense not giving much of an effort. Counted from distance. Doncic has got 14. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Mitchell, the pass to Bogdanovich. Shot from the top of the key. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. Defense. And too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. We've seen Donovan Mitchell really having a great game. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Taking a look at the Jazz. In the backcourt, it's Conley and Mitchell. Rudy Gobert is out there with Boyan Bogdanovich, and it's O'Neal in at the three. Outside Mitchell. No good. And it's Dallas the other way. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Outside Mitchell. Tries to break his ice. And it's good on the layup. Mitchell's got 20. Putting his athleticism to great use. When Mitchell takes the initiative, he's hard to stop. Pass to Marjanovic. And stolen by Gobert. And now the Jazz on the run in transition. They get it back. Outside for Mitchell. Out of bounds. It'll be Mavericks ball. Hurts to see that kind of mistake. Coach is going to be on him about that one. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. Dinwiddie, right side. Outside, Green. He can't get that one to fall. Conley with some nice D. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. He's been their top scorer, but he's really had to fight for it. He'll need to be more efficient in the future for this club to reach its full potential. The Mavericks have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Hardaway against Mitchell. Hardaway, the pass to Berton. Now Dinwiddie. Here's the three. Rebound, Utah. Gobert's got rebound number seven tonight. The three from Mitchell. Hardaway grabs the board. He had a couple in the first, but so far he's been unable to get uncorked here. Dinwiddie passes to Hardaway. From outside the arc. That one doesn't drop. And Utah the other way now. Outside Mitchell. Just over two and a half minutes going by in the second half. Goes back up. Back to Gobert. Pass to Mitchell. Just four to shoot. There's the three. Rebounded by Green. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. Dallas again missing. 
probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Back to Mitchell. 152 left to play in the third quarter here. Mitchell can't get that one to fall. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Pass to Bertans. Green with the ball. Guarded now by Mitchell. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his second personal. First free throw is good. First team foul. At the line. And both free throws good for Green. 136 left in the third quarter. Outside Mitchell. He takes it in. Second chance effort. The Jazz again can't hit. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. And there's a three-second three. violation. Three-second violation. Utah ball. Well, the Jazz shooting just 28%. Lacking confidence on offense right now. Conley passes to Mitchell. 58 seconds left in the third quarter. Shoots it from the high post. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And here's Dinwiddie from the arc. Utah with the rebound. Bogdanovich has got four rebounds in the game. The three from Mitchell. Again, the miss by Mitchell. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. Let's go with a three. Again, the miss by Mitchell. At some point, you need to know when to stop shooting. Just too many misses piling up for him. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Boy, you cannot let Hardaway Jr. get going like this, guys. I mean, once he's in that rhythm and flow, it's bad news for the defense. Outside Mitchell. The three is up. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. Conley's got four assists now tonight. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. Building this lead up. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Jalen Brunson is out there with Luka Doncic. Then there's Dorian Finney-Smith. Then there's Dwight Powell. And it's Bullock in at the three, the small forward. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. And here's Brunson from the arc. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. The three from Mitchell. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic has got rebound number five here tonight. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage in. As a result, they've got a big lead. Outside Mitchell. Driving to the basket, and Mitchell with the slam. The burst and power of Mitchell on full display. This guy's incredible. And Doncic launches from deep. That shot missing. Now the Jazz take it the other way. Outside Mitchell. For three. Doncic pulls down the board. You know, brick after brick after brick. I mean, that's been the story for him this quarter. I mean, he's got to brain it in down the stretch here. Doncic on the wing over Bogdanovich. Again, Doncic missing. Utah has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. The three from Mitchell. Utah, the rebound. The Mavericks have gotten only 1 of 5 to fall here in the fourth. Pass to Brunson. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. From deep, here's Doncic. That's good. That 
That's now his seventh made field goal in 15 tries. Offensively, there's nothing Jontich can't do. I mean, consistency with the three ball being one of the few things left that he has to refine. Conley finds Mitchell. From the arc. Knocks it down from distance. Mitchell's got 13 in the second half. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And Doncic with the jam. Speedy drive by Doncic. That doesn't quite go together. He usually is going at his home pace. But he does take advantage of holes when he sees them. Bogdanovich on the wing. Gobert with a screen on Brunson. Elbow shot. That one's wide left. Dallas has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Back to Doncic. And the Mavericks, another three. Way downtown, Doncic testing the limits of his range there. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Gobert. Back to Mitchell. From deep. And again, it's Utah with a three. Such an effective shooter. If you lose track of him defensively, he's going to make you pay. Brunson with it. Guarded now by Mitchell. Doncic on the wing. Another three for Dallas. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the Mavericks. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently, and a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Luka Doncic. Well, I can't recall a play that he wasn't involved in. He was so involved in so many plays tonight. A force on both ends. It does a lot for their spacing when Mitchell's draining threes. That's what they want from him. He can really open things up for their bigs inside. From deep, here's Doncic. Sinks the tray. And the Mavericks lead by 18. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. The three from Mitchell. The Mavericks pull it in. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Bullock. Out of bounds. It'll be Utah's ball. Utah ball. 20 seconds left to play in the fourth. Outside Mitchell. Let's go with a three. Yes. Great play by Conley to set it up. Mitchell's got 40 points. One of the league's better floor generals, really over the last decade. Conley plays with an old-school pass-first mindset. And so Dallas takes this one by a big mark. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg.